If you ever plan to create a video game, then you probably wondered how much would it cost and how long will the development take. For any game developer who has a passion to create and release his game, it's important to not just know how much it can cost to develop a game, but also where these costs come from and how budgets for creating games are decided. Taking into consideration which type of game you want to create and how big the development team is, this will vary from game to game. That's why, in this video, I want to take a look at how much did it cost to develop some of our favorite games that require large development teams and also how much did it cost to develop indie games that require small development teams. Let's start with everyone's favorite game that all beginner game developers want to create, Grand Theft Auto V. The budget for Grand Theft Auto V was $265 million, which is one of the highest of any video game ever created. So how come is this number so high and for what did they need all this money? Well, for starters, creating a game like Grand Theft Auto V takes a lot of time and a lot of people. It took 1000 people over the course of 5 years to create Grand Theft Auto V. And with a game that has so many details like GTA, you need to hire designers, artists, programmers, mappers, voice actors, and many more. Because creating a game with a scope like GTA requires a lot of development teams, each focused on a specific task. For example, when it comes to level design, you will need an environment designer, props designer, landscape designer, etc. This is not a task that a single designer can take. The same goes with programming. You have a character programmer, enemy AI programmer, weapons programmer, visual effects programmer, and they all have separate tasks to finish. That's the reason why it takes so many people to create an AAA game title. Of course, in the $265 million budget, marketing is also accounted, so not all money is spent solely on development. Because if you want your game to be successful, you can't just create and publish your game and expect a miracle to happen. You also need to market your game so that people will know about it. And this is the reason why I often say to beginner game developers, don't try to create the next GTA game. I'm not saying this to discourage you from game development, I'm saying this to save you a lot of time before you figure that out the hard way on your own. Next on the list is one of my favorite games of all time, The Witcher 3. If you haven't been living under a rock for the past 5 years, chances are you heard of one of the best RPG games of all time called The Witcher series. The Witcher 3 was developed by CD Projekt Red, a game studio based in Poland. They had a team of 250 in-house people working on the game and 1,500 people globally were involved in the production of The Witcher 3. The Witcher 3 had a budget of $81 million, which accounted marketing money as well, and it took them 3.5 years to create the game. This information comes to us from CD Projekt Red 2015 performance conference as posted in their YouTube channel. Same as with GTA 5, creating a game with the scope like The Witcher 3 requires a lot of designers, programmers, artists, and even 500 voice actors. Having this many people working on a single game also takes a lot of managers to manage these people and make sure they do their job the right way. For marketing, they ran 40 marketing campaigns in parallel and the game sold 6 million copies in the first 6 weeks of the launch. As you can see, it takes a lot of man and money power to produce a high quality AAA game titles. But what about smaller indie games that require a single person or a few people working on it? One of those games is Braid. Braid is a platform and puzzle video game developed by Jonathan Blow. It cost $200,000 to produce Braid, said Jonathan himself. However, he reckons it's possible to produce games for much less than that. He spent most of the money on hiring an artist and could have saved loads of money if he'd bothered learning how to draw himself. The game wouldn't have been as good, but it would have made a profit, Blow said. 
Also, a lot of that 200k was spent because I didn't want to live in a shack somewhere. It doesn't require $200,000 to make a game. It requires a PC, a development kit and enough money to live on for the time it takes to develop the game. Plus extra time because it will always slip. If you can live for 3 years at your mom's house, you can make a game for free, said Jonathan. This goes to say that, yes, it is possible to create a hit game that can earn a lot of money and it doesn't have to be the next GTA and you can work on the game alone or with the help of a few artists that you hire. It also shows that if you want to create a game on your own, it takes time and it takes sacrifice because it's not simple to create something of high quality in a short period of time. And the creator of the next indie game that I'm going to talk about knows this very well. The name of the game is Pinstripe and the creator's name is Thomas Brush. You probably know Thomas from his YouTube channel with the same name, where he talks about his journey as a game developer and about game development in general. If you don't know him, you should definitely check him out. He ran a Kickstarter campaign and raised $106,000 for his game. Because Thomas was working solo on his game, it took him 5 years to create this game. This goes to show that if you're planning to create a good game on your own, again, it will take time. It's not an easy task to create all the artwork, sound effects, characters, enemies and program all that on your own. Of course, you can cut all that out, but it will cost you money to hire artists and programmers to help you out. This is also doable if you have a regular job, but that means you need to be prepared to sacrifice your free time after work to work on your game. This is what Thomas did as well. There is also the fear of burning out as Thomas Brush said himself. It's a long journey and you need to be creative and full of passion for your game during all that time, which is not an easy task, but again, Thomas proved it's doable. As you can see, creating and publishing a game requires planning, skills, time and sacrifice. Again, I'm not saying this in any way to discourage you from game development. I'm saying this to save you a ton of time because I've seen the same scenario over and over where a game developer starts his ambitious project not knowing into what he is getting into and then quitting after spending a few months, sometimes even years on the project. Now that you're armed with the knowledge I gave you, you will be much smarter and better prepared to work on your hit game. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and share the video so that more people can see it. Also, I have some links down in the description that can help you learn game development, so make sure to check them out. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.